Part of Executive Order 33 is commonly referred to as the cell phone ban, but there's another part to it that would give some additional money to go toward mental health services in schools. And that's something that one psychologist tells us she expects every school district to try to tap into. As a child psychologist, Dr. Sandra Henderson works with school counselors and psychologists all the time. She says since the pandemic, school systems she's worked with have been strung out, understaffed to deal with a range of needs from a range of students. There's never been enough. There's just, I mean, and the wait list is long and they're, they're overworked and overburdened. It's just too much that we just need so many more school psychologists in general. According to this UVA article from January, Henrico County Public Schools has a ratio of one school psychologist to 1,835 students. You get an overload, and that's how it's been for the last several years. But still, she says parents and families can be positive. I mean, it's really encouraging. School districts and legislators are starting to move money to fill positions. About $15 million from this year's state budget will go toward improving mental health services in schools. In March, Henrico shared its plan to invest $17.8 million over the next five years to increase clinical staffing and take the burden off school staff. And Chesterfield will devote about $2.8 million of its budget to school psychologists alone. It's, it, it means they're really listening um, and seeing the need, too, um, that... What we've got going right now is just not adequate to meet the, the difficulties that students are facing every day in their school day. And Order 33 will provide school districts an additional $500,000 for mental health as well. You know, obviously the, the people are the most important. Um, training and supplies are also important too, and, and the, you know, the physical space that they work in. We've always been advocating for more money for these services, and I think it's finally dawning on legislators that this is something that's not just a wish list, this is a needed item. Now, Dr. Henderson says, despite the strain, it's still important for families to try to reach out to school psychologists and counselors because oftentimes it is their first option to getting services for free. In Richmond, I'm Elizabeth Holmes, CBS 6 News.